Hi, welcome to the section of the Physics 3 Tutor. And in this section, we're going to continue working problems involving capacitors with a dielectric between the plates. So in the last section, we did a few problems, good solid foundational problems to make sure you understand what we're talking about and how to apply the concepts. This section, we're just going to continue working some problems with a little bit more complexity, a little bit more math to get to the answer, but certainly the fundamentals are exactly the same. So we're going to apply the same ideas. So the first problem goes like this. You have a, um, a substance with a dielectric constant of 2.8 and a breakdown voltage of 18 megavolts per meter. If you make a parallel plate capacitor with this dielectric, what is the smallest plate area needed such that the capacitor, capacitor that you make is 0 0.07 microfarads and that the capacitor can withstand 4 kilovolts, 4,000 volts? So it's a great example, again, of a wordy problem, but really there's some, some very fundamental things that you need to pull out of it and write down to really see how to proceed. Now, I'll tell you right now, it's very unlikely that a student is going to read this problem and just know how to get the answer. Even, even me, I mean, the first time I work it, I'm, I'm not going to read it and say, oh, yeah, I know exactly what to do. What you need to do is read the problem a few times, make sure you understand it, draw a picture, and label the picture with what you know. And then you just start working and kind of applying the equations that we've learned with what we know, see what gaps are in, in what you've written down, and then you'll be able to figure out with algebra what you can solve for. So let's read it one more time. We have some substance, unknown, but we know it's dielectric constant, 2.8. We know it has a breakdown voltage of 18 megavolts per meter. That means that for every meter, that's a pretty large distance, for every meter of this stuff, it can take 18 million volts before it breaks down. All right, uh, we're gonna make a parallel plate capacitor out of this material. Uh, what is the smallest plate area, the minimum plate area needed so that the capacitor we build has a capacitance of 0.07 microfarads? And this capacitor needs to withstand 4 kilovolts. So we're trying to build a capacitor here. Obviously, we want to know the final capacitance. We know that's what we, we have. And we also know that this final capacitor can withstand 4 kilovolts. We know what the breakdown voltage of our material is. That's 18 megavolts per meter. So let's draw a picture and begin labeling it and see if we can figure out logically how to proceed. So obviously you have a capacitor, so draw yourself a capacitor. I mean, it's absolutely crucial. And by the way, when you do this, even if you don't get the answer on your test, maybe you don't get quite to the end, just drawing it is going to give you, you know, a lot of credit. All right, so we have some distance D. This is distance D, right? And we also know it has a plate area A, okay? And what we're trying to find is the smallest plate area needed to create a capacitor with the characteristics that are listed in this problem. What are these characteristics? So what we want to have, we'll draw a little line here to separate it. What we want is a capacitor of 0 0.07 microfarads. That's what we want in the end. We want it to withstand 4,000 volts, 4 kilovolts, all right? And I'm going to switch colors. This is all relevant information, but I'll just switch colors to make it easier. The dielectric properties of whatever uh, we have here, which is the stuff we're sticking in between the capacitor here, uh, is that the dielectric constant is 2.8, and the uh, breakdown voltage, so I'll label it BV, is 18 megavolts per meter.